All right, Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakwadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world ignorantly called Jesus. And the Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem Al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's Willing edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai unto the best of my ability. All right, and this lesson is going to be concerning uh, not being carnal. All right, and just as Yahweh Shai, he didn't come in the spirit of carnality. All right, because our whole ministry is revolved around, you know, thus saith the Lord and what Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is going to do. All right, because the Lord says he would not meet thee as a man. Uh, Matthew 10. Verse 34, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right. So we talk about the destruction. We talk about how your Howard Shai is going to come back and judge you people. But we don't come in the spirit of carnality. All right. And neither did your Howard Shai come in the spirit of carnality. All right. That carnality uh, trait. Is really of Esau Edom. All right, because did not um, did not he get blessed with the sword? Matter of fact, let's open up with that. This is the book of Genesis twenty-seven, starting at forty, and it reads, "And by the sword, actually start up one is uh, Genesis twenty-seven and thirty-nine." And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Right. And this was Isaac uh, blessing uh, Esau, Edom. All right. And it says, um, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother. Right. So Esau, Edom, that was his blessing that his father Isaac gave unto him. So his blessing is the sword, right? Our blessing is not carnality. Our blessing is 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 this truth, having the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. So right now, this is not a a battle of uh swords and weapons. Now, right now we're take we're partaking in a spiritual fight. All right? And let's get that Let's go to the book of 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, uh, the 10th, 10th, 10th chapter, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white nation in uh, Israel, all right, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right, the uh, scripture says in the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, that they uh, two men and a people was separated from from uh, from from his bowels. All right, so Esau Edom. All right, he his blessing is carnality. Right, that's why he loves hunting. Right, he's a man of the field. Right, that's why you he, he he always toting around his gun. Right, because that's his blessing. All right, and our blessing is spiritual. Right, 
we able to, to, to break down the scriptures. We're able to go into prophecy. Right? And it says, but but mighty through the most high to the pulling down the strongholds. Right. So we're, we're partaking in a spiritual battle right now. We're breaking down the strongholds. Right? Because how did Esau Edom set up his, his empire? How did he come into power? By way of uh, bloodshed. He done stole. He done raped, robbed, and murdered everything since his existence. He did nothing but destroy and, and uh, uh, start wars. Right? So right now, the, the, the Israelites, all right, the elect, were breaking down the strongholds. All right, because how, how did Esau eat him? Another part of his blessings is his is his uh his deceit. All right, scripture says his mouth was smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So he conquered the whole earth by way of by way of uh his his wine, his philosophies. All right, you go back to uh uh Eve and the serpent in the garden. How did Eve get get a uh, how did she get get beguiled by Esau's uh, words, his trickery, right? So right now, you know we're we're uh, breaking down those strongholds. Christianity, right? The true names of God and uh, the true name is God is Yahweh. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, right? We're breaking down those strongholds, right? The image of the Lord, He's not a so-called a uh, uh, white man We're going into the book of Revelation 1 and 4 uh, uh, 1 Revelation chapter 1 And 14 Alright we go into the book of Daniel Okay Also tell you that That the, uh, the 12 tribes Are so called black, Hispanic And Native Americans Right So that's the That's the Spiritual battle That we're partaking in And it's not It's not a carnal battle Again it's a spiritual it's a spiritual fight, hey. But real soon, it's going to become, uh, it's going to become carnal. But right now, our job is to preach this word and remain spiritual, right? The scripture says, "Be uh, be, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove," all right? And that's really the spirit of Yahweh Shai when he came on the scene, all right? When he came in, when he came, he knew he had a purpose, all right? He had a mission. Okay, he knew he was gonna get uh, put to death. All right, but Yahweh Shai, he had the power to to uh, he had the power to, to overcome that. But he, but he knew that he had a job to do. He knew that prophecy had to be fulfilled. So let's go to another scripture. Since we're speaking on Yahweh Shai, let's go to John eighteen, and we're gonna start at verse fifteen. Pilate answered. Am I a Jew? Thy own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee, have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Yahweh shall answer, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Right? So, and that wasn't the case. Okay? So even Yahweh Shah knew that he had a purpose to do. All right? Because who sent Yahweh Shai? Yahweh, who the world and we calls God. So at the end of the day, this is this is yeah this is Yahweh Bashmal Shai movie, okay? And we gotta we gotta uh, play our part in this movie, right? The the prophets they're gonna remain spiritual until the Lord and and endow his uh, men with spiritual powers, okay? Jeremiah sixteen and sixteen says the fishers shall turn into hunters. But right now we not in that. Season what what we hunting? All right, right now we're in a season where we fishing. All right, we we we, we uh, fishing for the elect. All right, but soon uh, fisher is going to be turned into hunters. All right, all right, let's keep going. Let's go to the book of. Uh, let's go back to Second Corinthians. Let's get a little bit more off of that. Second Corinthians ten and four, for the weapons of our warfare. Are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. All right, and right now we're we're shaking up the world. All right, we're changing the world. Everybody's talking about the Hebrew Israelites. 
everybody uh, know the, the, the depiction of, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and the angels. All right, all these has been strongholds. Okay, but now, now the, 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 the truth is out here. All right, all across the internet, all on social media. All right, all this is being done by by way of, of this truth. All right, and the scripture says you can do nothing against the truth before the truth. Okay, everybody know that this that this devil is 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 Esau Edom. Right, the red man wasted away as he. All right, let's go to verse five. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that it exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of the anointed. And I want to read this here in the, uh, in the NLT version. This is 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. It says, we destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing uh, the Most High. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? And that's what the prophets are set up to do, right? We, we, we teach you to obey Yahweh Shemal Shai, right? And that's another lie from the Christian church. You go into your Christian church, they're not pushing the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, but they do the complete opposite. All right, and what the scripture says in, in the book of Matthew, he that teaches man not to keep the commandments shall be least in the kingdom of heaven, roughly paraphrasing, right? And that's what the Christian church has pushed into our people. All right, and we're, what's that? That's a lifestyle of destruction, okay? That's do as thou wilt, okay? Which is completely contrary to uh, Yahweh Bashem al -Shai. All right, we have to come under obedience. All right, the scripture says it's better to obey than it is to sacrifice. Right? So, yeah, we tell our people to come back to your heritage. That you're not black. That you're not Hispanic. That you're not Native American. But you are indeed a, a Hebrew Israelite. Yashar Allah, which means he is a prince of the power. All right, we, we the sons of God. All right, but this devil done told you that you a nigger. This devil done told you that you a uh, 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 Hispanic. All right, which, which are all bywords and proverbs. All right? Why do you think there are churches on, on, on every corner in, 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 uh, in, in so-called black and Hispanic communities? Because that's, that's, that's death. Okay? That's idolatry. And all those things keep you away from who you truly are. Let's go to Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 44 starting at 5. Through thee will we push down our enemies. All right, when you read uh, the books of the, uh, of the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, where, where our nation was going into war with the different nations. And how, how do we overcome the, the, the different nations? Not because we were stronger, not because we was faster, not because we were just better. No, nah, we came, we, we overcame our enemies through Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Okay? And how, how do we get into, how do we get put into the hands of our enemies because of our disobedience right and that's why we in this state that we in today that's why our people are in hoods and ghettos that's why we getting uh, gunned down in the streets that's why our people's getting plagued with all these different diseases because we're not relying on our power Yahweh and Yahweh Shai Right, it says, through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. Right, and that's another lie. All right, Esau Edom took away the name. I right, mean, really, it was, it was it was through the will of uh, Yahweh by Shai. All right, but Esau Edom gave you Jesus. 
He done gave you God, Yahweh, Jehovah, right? All these names that 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 holds no power, right? Just just as me and you, everybody has one name, all right? How much more the Heavenly Father, the Creator of the universe, His Son who died on the cross for you. But now we have those names back. And that's what, that's the power that the elect is going to have in these last days. All right, we're going to be able to tread under all those who rise up against us. Verse 6, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Right, this is King David. A man who fought many wars. Who won many wars. David when he fought Goliath. It wasn't because of David. King David that he that he overcame Goliath. No. Nah. It was through Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. You know. And once we understand that we're nothing without the Lord. Hey man. That makes life and things so much easier for you. We're nothing without Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. And a lot of. Uh, Jake's about to find that out. You, you, you might have a strap. You got guns. All right, but those guns ain't going to be able to save you. What you going to do when, 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 that, when that gun jam? What you going to do when that, when that gun run out of bullets? Verse 7, but thou hast saved us from our enemies. And has put them to shame that hate us. Right, man. And all our enemies are going to get put to shame. All right. The Lord is going to save those who call upon them in truth and sincerity. All right. Who don't trust in their bow. Because really what that is, that's idolatry. Okay. That's coming in the spirit of Esau, Edom. The script says, John 8 and 44, you have your father the devil, and the lust thereof you shall do. He was a murderer, he abode not in the truth. All right, so a lot of our people take on that spirit of Esau. Let me get two more to wrap it up. This is the book of Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. All right, so we got, we got the number one weapon on the planet Earth, and that's this Bible. All right, it's, it's powerful than any gun. It can cut you deeper than 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 any sword can. All right, because you can get cut by a sword, but you, your your skin gonna heal itself. All right, when you get cut by this word. Hey, it ain't no, you can't, you can't get healed from that unless, unless you repent. All right. And that's what's making Esau eat him so mad. That's why persecution is going to come because these devils is, is hurt. These devils getting cut. Two thirds of our people getting cut. Why do you think two thirds of our people said to, to Pontius Pilate, crucify him, crucify him? Because Yahweh Shah, he, 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 he was... He was cutting their ass. They was offended in Yahweh Shah's teachings and his doctrines. All right, it says, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joint and marrow. All right, this word going to cut you deep. All right, it says, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Oh, man, that, and that's what the scriptures do. And we we able to to uh, discern, hey man, that, that 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 brother he got a good spirit, and we able to discern down that nigga got a wicked spirit. That, that, that's the two third. His ass gonna get put to death. All right, we able to identify if you are Israelite, a uh, 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 foreigner. All right, we able to identify down. That's that's a heathen. That's an Edomite. All right, and that, all that's being done by way of this word, having this truth. All right, and that's why the scripture says wisdom and knowledge going to keep us stable during these times to come. Hey, with the truth, we're going to be able to 
you're going you're gonna to be able to, to, to discern things, man. All right? And, and a lot of our people, they have a, a lack of discernment. Okay? We're going to close out with one last scripture. Let's go to the book of Ephesians 6 and 10. And it reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right? So we got to put on that, that spiritual armor. All right? And that's how we're going to stand against the, the wiles, the trickeries of the devil. All right? Scripture says we are not ignorant of Satan devices. Okay? Esau, he, he, he got a lot of different this technology, the AI technology. Right? <laughs> the MOTB, he gonna implement that in a in a in a in a serpent, in a subtile like way. All right, the scripture says, if it were if it were possible, uh, you shall deceive the very elect. But it's not possible. All right, we got that eye sound, we got the spiritual ears, the spiritual eyes to see. Okay, but you ain't gonna be able to see it. Unless uh, unless you have the armor on, all right, which is the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, all the things that's going to keep you able to, to, to be stable during all hell break loose, all right? Because a lot of people, they're bugging out, man. They're changing up the doctrine. They're calling on Greek names, uh, on, on Greek names for, for, for the Most High and His Son. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, let's read this in the NLT. It says, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies. All right, this is not like we ain't standing in the ring. All right, Floyd Mayweather versus uh, uh, Tank Davis. No, this is not that type of fight. This is a spiritual fight that's taking place. It says, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Right? So we're taking battle against a, a, a spirit. Right? Okay? And that's why you need the armor. That's why you need the truth. That's why you need the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Alright? Because how did Yahweh Shai fight the spiritual demon Satan. He ain't tell the spiritual demon Satan, hey, uh, put up put up your guard, put up your set, let's 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 bump. Nah, he ain't say that. He fought him through the scriptures. And let's prove that. This is Matthew 4, starting at 1. Then was Yahweh Shah led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of, of God, command that these stones be made bread. All right? So that was the temptation from Satan. Let's see how Yahweh uh, combated that. It says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh. Right? So that's, that's so Yahweh Shah, he fought the, the spiritual demon Satan by way of the, of the scriptures. All right, Hebrews four and twelve, right? That's our that's our that's that's our weapon, sharper than any two-edged sword. Okay, let's keep going. Verse five. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh Shah said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Right? So again, Yahweh Shah, he fought the spiritual demon Satan and, and uh, cut him with the scriptures. Verse 8 Again, the devil taketh him up into a exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee, if thou, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahweh shall unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, 
thou shalt thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Alright, so again, yeah, spiritual demon Satan tried to come in and uh uh uh, uh get Yahweh Shah to go off. Alright, but what how did Yahweh Shah win? How did he combat that fight? By way of the scriptures. Let's uh finish off and it says Verse 11, then the devil leaveth them, and behold, angels came and ministered unto them. All right, and you got to remember that this uh, spiritual demon Satan came when Yahushua was at his weak point, when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. All right, and that's, and that's how Esau, uh, that's how uh, Satan uh, likes to play, okay? When, when, when you at your weak points, when you at your low moments, right? That's what Satan wants to come in and try to sift you. All right, but the scripture says Romans 15 and 4 for the things that was written aforetime are written for our learning. So we're supposed to learn from our Lord and our Savior. Okay, because hey, he, he was getting, he was saying was was trying to uh, uh, get him to sell his soul, trying to get him to go against the will of, of Yahweh. Okay, but we have that same, we have that same strength, we have that same spirit. Okay, because the Lord said uh, he would not leave us comfortless. So we have the Rechak Wadash, right? We have the tools to, uh, to, to, to overcome the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, so let's finish off with verse 13. It says, wherefore, uh, Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Right, and we're coming into that evil day. And right now we're living in evil times. All right, scripture says the last day is perilous times shall come. Right? And evil goes back into bad times. Right? Right now we we in the beginning stages of bad times. Like the book of Matthew the twenty fourth chapter said, these are the beginning of sorrow. So things are going to continue to get worse and worse. Okay? And the only way we're gonna be able to withstand in the evil day is if we have the armor. And we have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, Isaiah 33 and 6. Let's, let's wrap it up with that. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, so we have the most precious thing on the planet Earth. Brother, the people can't, the people don't, they don't see the value in serving the Lord. They don't see the value in having this, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the Bible. Okay, but we do. Okay, and, and, and the world is soon going to going to thirst and wish that they had it. Amos 8 and 11. They're going to run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Right? A man shall be made more precious than fine gold. So we have the truth. All right, we have the, we have the, 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 the the most, the most valuable thing that that the world can offer you. Okay, the world can't offer you nothing. Nothing comes close to having this truth, man. Okay, and during the evil day, hey, we gonna be the ones, Lord willing. Yahweh Bashmal Shai keeps that spirit upon us. We gonna be the one, you know, uh, uh, perform, per performing miracles. All right, we're going to be the one that has spiritual powers. All right, we're going to be the ones that, that, that eat and, and be drinking and marry and have abundance. Okay, we just got to keep remaining spiritual. All right, our time is coming. Spiritual powers is coming. All right, but before honor comes humility. So we got to continue to be humble and meek. All right. So with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Rechakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashom Al Shai. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bahashom Al Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. The Wadi Al Bahashom Al Shai, forgive me the spirit of truth. And the Wadi Al Bahashom Al Shai, forgive me the Holy Spirit. The Rakak with us to make this lesson. Lord's willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and the Baba Ball. DTA, Kwame Ashala, Shalom.